So I would like to welcome Jason uh, Chung, the Executive Director of Esports, uh, to the Chargers Career Forum. Welcome, Jason. Thank you for having me. Definitely, definitely. So what I was going to do is just ask you a couple of questions about your program and to get your idea on esports from an internal perspective, university and student perspective, uh, and get some of your thoughts from an external and jobs perspective. Uh, so my first question for you uh, this afternoon, Jason, is why do you think the University of New Haven decided uh, to place such a focus on esports? Well, I think it's another example of the university being responsive to the students and responsive to the industry. Uh, if you look at the figures, and uh, we all have, the uh, esports industry is a, is a rapidly growing industry. Uh, it's a form of entertainment that's getting additional currency now with uh, obviously the unfortunate coronavirus and, and COVID-19 situation. Um, it's also something that Gen Z wants, uh, not only as students, uh, but they want it uh, for their industry and their future as well. It's a form of entertainment that's going to continue to grow. So if it's going to continue to grow, it deserves study uh, from a business angle because that's where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's, that's where the interest is. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. And, you know, to your point, the uh, stats that I've been reading on esports, um, e-commerce in general, um, especially coming from a, uh, a development standpoint, from a telecommunications standpoint, from a gaming uh, perspective, are all jumping. Uh, so I think you're right. And in addition, the recent pandemic that we're going through right now um, is, is, is forcing us to think in new and different ways, innovative ways on how we are going to uh, do work and play. So um, I, as well, from an employment perspective, see esports as a, a growing and burgeoning uh, industry. So thank you uh, for that answer. Um, so from a accomplishments standpoint, uh, what have been some of your recent accomplishments uh, growing this field on campus uh, and building external partnerships and attracting uh, new students? Well, you know, sir, first internally, we have a great gaming, uh, you know, club here on campus and an esports club here on campus. And I think one of the strengths that we have as a university is the fact that uh, because we're so collegial, uh, we all work together. So, for instance, I work very closely with the varsity head coach, as well as members of Campus Rec and Campus Life in order to make sure that, you know, the existing community is part of what we're doing, uh, that on the academic side, we work together with competitive, competitive side to put together uh, a suite of offerings that are that are interesting uh, for both the people who want to study esports as well as those who want to play esports. Uh, for us, it's an integrated sort of model, and we look at it holistically. So I think that's a big thing internally on campus. Uh, again, we also have new programs that are popping up all time, including a graduate program, which we'll be announcing soon. So ultimately, uh, we're innovating our way uh, and working together with everyone on campus. Externally. Um, we want external people to become internal uh, members of the community as well. So for instance, we signed a, an academic partnership with HyperX, which is a large gaming peripherals company. Um, and uh, we've reached an agreement where we're gonna take students, work on a business case for them, and then the students are actually gonna fly out to Orange County and their headquarters uh, and actually um, you know, uh, present their findings in person as well as engage in job shadowing and job mentoring uh, right on their campus. So uh, we're excited for that. We have a couple of other uh, major, major announcements to come in the partnership space. Uh, so, uh, you know, stay tuned. Wow, uh, that sounds really exciting, Jason. Now, uh, uh, to take it uh, to a little bit of a sidebar, um, like, do your folks have any connection with the actual sporting department, sports department at the University of New Haven? Like, is there a lot of synergy or connection between uh, traditional uh, sports teams and the e-sporting uh, uh, students? So, I mean, of course uh, we do. I mean, ultimately, uh, you know, it's a, our e-sports head coach is based out of the athletics department as well as mm -hmm. campus. Uh, you know, I myself, even though I teach, uh, I, I'm the program director for e-sports, I'm a faculty member in the sport management faculty in the College of Business. So for us, yes, we, we are, uh, there is a lot of overlap. And the reason why we treat it separately in terms of a field of study is because there's this interesting nexus between sport and technology um, and new forms of broadcasting. So we were, we're being mindful of that. But at the same time, uh, business is business and business is cyclical. So there's lessons to be learned all over. 
Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And um, I think those types of synergies are something that is gonna be very beneficial uh, to our students as they're out there prospecting jobs and internship opportunities. So I think that's fantastic that you guys are working collaboratively and have that connection on a regular basis. That's fantastic. Jason, can you talk to me, talk to me about some of the differences the University of New Haven's eSports program um, has uh, over or above other colleges and universities? Sure, I mean, uh, you know, I think every, every uh, institution basically does what they're capable of. Um, but I'd say that our strength is the fact that we are an experiential university and we want to do things in partnership with the industry. Uh, we feel very strongly that the sport, uh, eSports uh, programs shouldn't just be a sport management program with an E slapped on the, on the front of it. Uh, we think there are uni unique challenges and unique uh, sort of uh, stakeholders to really keep in mind and learn more about. And that's really where it comes from. Uh, I'm constantly talking to the industry. In fact, I had multiple calls today with CEOs of, of pretty big uh, organizations in both the collegiate and professional spaces. And you know, uh, for us, the strength is that we're responsive to what they need in terms of uh, future workers and future leaders. Um, and, and we incorporate into our curriculum real life skills, but also strong theoretical skills that I think uh, cross genres. You know, it's not just coming from you know, business, it's also the, we're also talking with people in other fields in the university, and it's a very strong interdisciplinary effort that we're putting together here. Mm -hmm. And I think that you shows. Know, right. Jason, that, that's a very interesting point. Um, you know, in my field, as I'm looking to um, show our potential employer partners, the folks that are going to hire University of New Haven students, I try to think about ways that uh, we do things differently from other colleges. And I think you just really codified uh, what some of those differences are. The connection between what the industry needs um, and what we are offering from a curriculum perspective, in addition to the partnerships uh, that you've developed, I think really puts it into focus and puts our students uh, head and shoulders above um, other uh, esports uh, programs. And I commend you on those efforts and um, I, I look forward to seeing uh, them yield uh, very, very fruitful results um, um, after they after our students finish their uh, collegiate careers. So that's fantastic uh, work that you're doing. Thank you very much for that answer. Where do you see the most growth in esports? So from an internship and career uh, perspective, where would you be putting, a, a, you know, maybe a little bit of a focus around um, or, or be advising your students on uh, where and uh, uh, how to uh, obtain employment and uh, internships? Well, I think that's, uh, that's a little bit difficult to answer in the sense that I think uh, there's so much growth in so many different areas, right? Mm -hmm. So if you look at the jobs reports and the industry reports that are there, some people say that it's going to be on the software engineering side, obviously, in sports, but you're seeing growth across product development, uh, project management, sales, marketing, uh, you know, all throughout the different business disciplines. Uh, from what I can tell, business development is going to continue to grow because, as I mentioned, there's a lot of stakeholders in this industry and they're still figuring out best practices. So there's definitely a lot of room for that for students to grow there. Um, at the end of the day, this is an industry where they require really strong specialists, but also really strong generalists as well. And I think that's a strength of a program. We're trying to make sure that students can, uh, you know, uh, slot in and become really strong leaders uh, by, by asking tough questions, uh, looking behind, you know, the sort of stock answers and the orthodoxy to really, you know, figure out uh, the, the, best, the right answer to complex questions. And I think, um, you know, if you can do that, you can work in pretty much any space. Oh, absolutely. And uh, you bring up some great points about um, uh, cross-functionality, um, uh, uh, trans, uh, transitional um, uh, skills that, that, that cross numerous genres um, and industries. And to your point, I think uh, esports uh, students should be looking at a broad array of opportunities, not specifically um, you know, gaming or not specifically some of the more traditional avenues, but you're right, uh, marketing, sales, development, um, you know, working at telecommunications companies in terms of industries and, and uh, other uh, avenues of uh, growth is going to be extremely important uh, for our students coming out of uh, your esports program. Uh, so I appreciate the fact that, that there is going to be uh, tremendous amounts of opportunities, non traditional opportunities uh, in esports. And I hope um, as the University of New Haven uh, continues uh, to promote and support. 
uh, particular um, uh, schools and, and, and uh, departments uh, that esports remains a focus of, 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 of um, idealism, of visionary growth, uh, not only for our university, but for the opportunities of our students. Uh, so Jason uh, Chung, uh, the executive director of our esports program at the university, university of New Haven, I appreciate your time, your expertise, and your efforts of uh, making the university uh, the place to be. Um, did you have any final comments for us? Yeah, just final comments, just building on what you said is at the end of the day, um, in terms of jobs within the esports industry, people always ask me, how do I get a job within the esports industry? And I mm -hmm. tell people, look broader, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, esports organizations, yes, there's a bunch of them, but there are jobs all over the all over the place. And if you can secure a job working for even a traditional company in the marketing realm, but bring that esports component and that knowledge, that deep knowledge of Gen Z and future generations and the ability to, you know, understand how to reach them and use different levers to reach them in, in technology and broadcasting and all of that, uh, you're going to be valuable wherever you are. And ultimately that's what we're, we're trying to help the students achieve as well. You know, we don't expect them all to work in esports specific organizations. We want them to be great workers first. And if they can get a job in the industry, uh, we would be thrilled and we're going to help them achieve that as well. If that's where they want their career to go. Awesome advice. Awesome advice. Uh, once again, uh, thank you, Jason Chung, the executive director of our esports program. I'm Marcus Packer, assistant director of employer relations for the University of New Haven's Career Development Center. Thank you very much and, and continue to charge ahead. Thank you. Thank you for watching the Chargers Career Forum a data-driven resource for student and employer engagement and success at the University of New Haven. Follow the Career Development Center on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. I'm Marcus Packer. See you next time.